Hi everyone, today's video is gonna be a little bit more casual than normal. I asked over on my Instagram what you guys wanted to see and you guys suggested to do a few more like clean with me, cook with me type videos. And so that's what we're gonna do today. My house, if you can see in the back, is a complete disaster. We just got a dishwasher installed this morning but we haven't had a dishwasher in like a month. And then also we have been in the worst heat wave ever here. I think it was like 45 or 47 degrees the other day and we just aren't used to that here. And so I haven't been able to run any laundry because it was just making the house too hot and haven't wanted to vacuum. Pretty much all we've done is shut the blinds, turned on the AC and sat here and drank water. And so the house is a complete disaster. So I'm just gonna put her down and then I have two hours and I'm just gonna power through. I hope this gives you guys a little bit of motivation and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye. Say bye. <laughs> so I always like to start with tidying the house and just putting everything back where it belongs. It's just the easiest way to make a huge difference. And so I like to start with that just to get myself motivated. And so I thought I'd also share here what I do for her toy storage. So if you can see, that's actually a drawer there. And so it's so easy to just throw everything back in. She uses it like a toy box. And then I have just like a little set of them that I can just tuck everything away and it makes it so easy to clean up. So this is something that I like to do when I have to bring lots of stuff to a different floor. So this is like all my craft stuff. It needed to go down to the garage, but instead of doing a hundred trips, I just use a laundry basket and fill it full and then you only have to go down once. And so what all this stuff was from is I had my best friend, my maid of honor over on the weekend and we were doing some wedding planning as well as I'm working on my bridesmaids proposal boxes so this was just all my craft stuff and if you guys want to see any wedding videos make sure you comment down below because i have been working on a lot of stuff from that i just didn't know if it was something you guys would be interested in but definitely like the bridesmaid boxes i was thinking about filming so you guys could see that for some ideas but yeah just let me know if that's something you guys would want to see So like I said, we had just got a new dishwasher installed this morning and so I had all these random parts and pieces that needed to go down to the garage. So again, I'm just loading up my laundry basket and then it's a quick easy trip downstairs. We hadn't had a dishwasher in over a month and oh my goodness, I forgot how much I love my dishwasher until it was broken. I think the last time I didn't have a dishwasher, I was like 19 and lived on my own, so it wasn't a big deal, but having kids, they have so many dishes and all of her cups have like 10 pieces to them. And so as soon as we got this dishwasher back, it was loaded full and I was so happy. Thank you. 
The new dishwasher we got has one of those top shelves for cutlery. That's something that I've always wanted, so as much as it sucked not having one, I'm so happy that we got this new dishwasher. If you guys want to say in what videos I make or you have ideas, make sure you either write in the comments or head over to my Instagram. That's where I'm always asking what you guys want to see. I love hearing everyone's ideas. And I know I had also mentioned that I would be possibly doing two videos a week, which I'm really hoping to do. But right now with the wedding planning, it was just too much going on. I tried to do that this week and it did not work out. So hopefully after the wedding, I'll be able to be posting one lifestyle video and one recipe video every single week. But for now, we're just going to do one. And so I already have my recipe video for next week on the go. It's going to be a delicious pesto meatball recipe that I, I shared in my Instagram stories a while back. And so yeah, definitely make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that and also head over to my Instagram and follow me there. And so then I just was giving my powder room a quick clean and I'm grabbing all the towels out of my bathrooms because that was the last load of laundry I had to do for the day. When I know I'm gonna be doing a nap deep clean, then I make sure to have laundry going all day because you can only get so much laundry done in the two hours. And so here again, I'm just loading everything that needs to go upstairs into the laundry basket so it's a nice easy trip. And so the first load of laundry I did in the morning was our sheets so that I could make the bed and then all through the day I was just loading the clean laundry onto our bed so I can fold it and put it away. And so with the laundry basket I'm just putting away all the things that were downstairs that had to go upstairs. And then I'm just moving on to starting my towels. And so I'm just taking everything out of the dryers and then I'm going to go around and collect the rest of the towels from the bathrooms and start that. Our master bathroom is one of the rooms that I have to tidy and wipe down every day if I want to keep on top of it just because it's used by everyone and so it becomes such a mess so fast and so I'm just gonna tidy everything up and then I had to give it a really good wipe down. I also am weird and like to clean my shower while I'm in the shower and so when I know that I'm gonna be cleaning my bathroom that day I just make sure that in the morning while I shower I clean the inside of the shower.
And so I didn't clean the outside of my shower, obviously, while I was in it. So I'm just giving the outside glass a good wipe. Something that really helps me to keep on top of the cleaning, not that I had kept on top of it this time, but I like to keep cleaners on both floors so that they're super easy to access. And then I'm not like having to run downstairs and grab cleaners just to clean an upstairs bathroom. If I see something dirty, I can just have the cleaners right there and grab it. And so this bathroom is not used that often, so I don't actually have to clean the sink and the toilet very often, but I figured it was due, so I was just giving it a quick wipe. The bathtub I do have to clean all the time because that is where my daughter baths. And then I just gave everything a quick little dust. This is such an important thing in my house because we have four pets. So there is hair everywhere and it just makes vacuuming so much easier. And so this time I was just going super fast. I wasn't doing the blinds or anything, but just wiping all the hair onto the floor. So then it was on to vacuuming and you will see all the pets scatter. They hate the vacuum. I usually do keep up with at least going around with our little handheld vacuum every day just because we do have the four pets. Things get so hairy so fast. But like I said, this heat wave was just awful. I did not keep up on any of my cleaning routines. That's why the house got so messy. And even Quinn's sleeping routine was so messed up. She ended up having to sleep in our room because we had air conditioning and her room was just way too hot. But she didn't like it in there. She was scared of the air conditioner. So I I had to sit in there every time she had to sleep which is fine I love like having that extra time with her but I just made it so that I couldn't get anything else done and like I said I couldn't keep up on the laundry because it was just too hot we didn't even have a dishwasher but I wouldn't have been starting it anyways and vacuuming I just couldn't get myself to do it even with both AC units going our house was a sauna I also had to do this because they were just so disgusting from all the little fingerprints and nose prints. So I just wiped down the mirror in our kitchen as well as our back sliding door. And then it was on to mopping and I was really rushing at this point because I could see Quinn rolling around in her crib. And so these spray mops are the best to have. They're the only thing that makes my floors not streaky. And it's also so nice that you can just leave the cleaner in there and it's all ready to go. It makes it so much faster than using a mop and bucket. 
So Quinn just woke up from her nap. She's about 15 minutes or so early, but that's all right. I got so much done. Don't mind how gross and sweaty I am. But I think the only things I didn't get done were putting away the laundry and vacuuming the upstairs. So I'm just gonna go give her a couple books and hopefully she'll let me quickly vacuum and then the laundry I can put away when she goes to sleep tonight. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.